Get a key. Ett real remitter. Okej, är det en på tisen där jag gör det? Nope. Wild feast. Okej. We're missing. Heck, ett real remitter. Onslaught of shadows. Okej, let's see. Like, funnily enough, like, this deck is pretty much just, like, theory-crafted. So... So, like, it, this deck might actually, like, not be very good, but I've just, like, I put in a bunch of cards that would appear to be, uh, synergizing with each other. Okay, Iron... Harbinger, okay. Those we already had, nice. That's good, that's good. The Undying. The Undying is cool. It just keeps coming back. Not sure if I want to play it in this deck though. Put in what one vengeance maybe. Oh, Ruination! Kill all the units. Damn, that's pretty cool. How is my curve? We have like nothing at. Four. Oh yeah, but this is the fast deck, right? Ethereal Remitter. Ethereal Remitter, where's that? For some reason I can see it. Ethereal. There you go. Oh, it's a rare as well. God damn it. Okay. Well, for some reason, like, I, I keep, like, most of the good cards seem to be rare. Or a lot of the cards that I want. A lot of the cards that I want are rare. Okay, how do we... We have 35 now. Let me see what am I missing from my early draft. Do I have the death marks in here? Oh, I didn't put in the death marks yet, did I? Okay. I already crafted those two. So this is a really important one with the ephemeral. Because it makes like... Remove ephemeral from an ally to grant it to an enemy, so... So we can make our Ephemeral to, to live. Normally Ephemerals die at the end of turn. But with this, we can remove the Ephemeral tag, so, so our Ephemeral unit will live. And we can put it on an enemy, so the enemy will die. It's like super powerful. Um, like what, what more do we, we need? The cards keep in the back sphere. Oblivious. Mark of Isles, okay. Almost done, just just two more cards, all right. Okay, clone be rare, phew. There we go. All right, let's see if this works. All right. So this Shark Chariot is just gonna keep coming back. It's pretty sweet. Limps beyond. So we're gonna get some spell mana here early. Oh my god, okay. I think I'm actually not gonna play this yet. Because I want three spell mana. I saw you guys a cool combo here. This is gonna be sweet. So I'm gonna have three spell mana here. I'm gonna play this five. Okay, this is this is actually kinda crazy. Pick a follower, create an epic metal copy of it. Okay. Do you want to do that right now? No, not yet. So I'm gonna play this. And we're gonna smork with this and then we're gonna death mark afterwards to make it permanent. Should I attack here? So this is a 5-5 for 3 mana, but it would go away. So this that's the deck. Wait, holy crap. Oh my god, I screwed up! I need to get- Oh! Oh! Oh, I need- Oh my god, I need to use it before. I forgot that it's also when it deals damage. Shit, chat. When it strikes or when the round ends. I thought it's only when the round ends. So I actually- I, sc I screwed up there big time. 
Oops. It's fine, though. Oh, this needs to be on the board. Alright. Alright, I screwed up. I, I, I misremembered. Like I told you, I haven't played it all that much, so... It can happen. Save your worlds. We speak with blades. Oh my goodness. So when this dies, it's gonna make an abomination, which is like a bigger, bigger creature. So you want this one to die. Damn, I was screwed up. It's okay, it's okay. We're in early, early alpha or something, so... It's all good. It's not the reading, it's just that I misremembered. So I could have made it like, I could have removed that freaking epimeral thing from it. Okay. I'm gonna copy this fall over. And then I'm gonna play it, and this one is gonna fade away, because it's epimeral now. So then we're gonna get this abomination. Ooh. I mean, I could also, uh... If I want this Fiora to be gone, I could death mark here. I'm gonna do it since I have two of these. Remove Epimetal from from this and grant Epimetal to the Fiora. So the Fiora is now gonna die. The Fiora is gonna become Epimetal and then uh, go away. Ah, so that was kind of cool. So that worked out. So this is weird. Pl uh, play. Kill an ally to summon a random follower that costs two or more. So we can do it to sacrifice this Cursed Keeper here, chat. Which we want to die. Because again we get the 4-4. Four, four. So I'm gonna like sacrifice this, and then we get a 4-4. Four, four, and we get a King Keep life blade, apparently. But yeah, pretty sweet combo, huh? So it's like we basically popped an egg and we get a creature that's a rent, like a bigger than what we had before. Oh, that's so kinky. Um, so this can kill one of my guys, but we get we can still get a bunch of damage in, so I should probably do this. I'm gonna just go in. We, we get one bad trait, but that's okay. Because the 4-4 four four has tough. So it's gonna take one less damage, it's only gonna take three damage here. But we also get one favorable trade, it seems. Alright, so what else do we have here? We got another one of these death marks, then we also have this glimpse beyond, beyond which uh, lets us draw by sacrificing something. Oh, another nice card to combo with that one one that makes the 4 for when, when it dies. Oh boy. Oh, we got some we got some sick combos again, chat. We actually got some sick combos again. Wow. Okay, we're gonna give that one death mark. Or ephemeral, excuse me. In just a moment. Gonna make a copy of this. And because it's a burst card, I, I will get another turn here. But actually, I'm gonna play this shark first. We're gonna do this next then. Because I don't have enough mana to do this and... Fresh tracks. And the death mark, so... Ooh. So this is shooting this one. Do I have enough mana? We don't have enough mana to do the death mark, so I, I wanna do the death mark. So I'm just gonna let this happen. And that's a 3 cost 3, 1, which deals 1 damage, damage when played. So we are gonna give that thing ephemeral. And this will come back once I... When, uh, yeah. But can I, can I take seven? We're definitely doing this with this. I'm just wondering if it's worth to like... Uh... No, I can't even block with that. Okay, so we're just gonna do this then. I 
I freaking love this card. This card is so good. This is one of my like favorite cards. It's like two for one. It's like a removal and it makes your own dude like so good. It's so freaking good chat. So ethereal cards actually count as dying when they go away. Uh, the ephemeral cards um, when they deal damage or when they when they uh, when they um, attack. Oh, at the end of turn or when they deal damage. That's right. Hecarim. You've attacked with... So, in order to level up the Hecarim, we need to attack with 8 Ephemeral. Okay, this is actually getting really juicy right now. Uh, so, Ephemeral allies will have plus 2. Yeah, this is such a nice one. Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna play this one. Let's just get in there, chat. So, when Hecarim attacks, we get 2 Spectral Riders, which are 3 twos. <laughs> okay. It's okay, we can do this too. It doesn't work. When I, I misclick there, I want to put everything, but it doesn't matter. In this game, it doesn't lock in once you... You will still have like a second opportunity to Let's add more. Or you can put them one by one as well. The reaction was just because I thought that I... Uh, I wasn't able to do that, there but I am. Uh... Alright, so we can we can use the black spear here. If an ally dies, we can, uh, we can we can we can use this to finish off the brown, which is nice. Gotta wait for the ally to die first. But yeah. I have one regular mana, then we have one spell mana, so I can go for the spear here to finish this brown off before it levels up or anything. Oh! Oh, it's a burst! Oh, it was a burst god! Yeah, so I, I didn't have a chance to. Uh, respond to that one. Then I'm just gonna kill uh, something else. Oh, we know what the last one is. Okay. Yeah, I should definitely cast this. So I'm just gonna remove this then. We should have lethal next time. Because we get the ghost wolves from the Hecarim attacking and stuff. I don't I don't think there's anything you do. Unless the top... Uh, maybe the top deck could be something amazing, but... I can't think of the object that good. Yeah, that's definitely not good enough. So when this Hecari Maddox, we're just gonna get... Oh, oh, but it's my opponent's turn to attack, that's, of course, so... Uh, that's right, so I gotta I have to wait for my turn. Kill an ally, just make a bigger one. I kinda just want this on the board, I, I should do this. Maybe the king kill I played. I'm gonna sacrifice that one. Because it has a high mana cost, so we get a 6 drop. Ooh, that was a little bit of a low roll. Play, create an exact copy, so it doesn't actually do anything. It's just a 6 mana 4 for That was very unlucky, but it's fine. So that was the last card. I can make this to block, because obviously he's gonna attack, so... The Hecarim also gets, like, more buff for Ronis. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's gonna die. I may have screwed up. I actually screwed up. I actually screwed up. I screwed up pretty big. I forgot this is Challenger. Oh! I got a new one! Okay. Never punished. Never punished, chat. Never punished. That was actually a really bad play. I totally forgot about the challenge on that. Alright. Never ever punished. Because the shark is also coming back. The shark chariot keeps coming back when an ephemeral ally attacks. So the shark, you these are actually like disgustingly strong. You get like free damage in a way. All right, all right. I, I misplayed, but we got the, we got a little lucky with the top deck. Shark chariot is insane. What? Yeah, it is. It is. If you are playing FP medals, obviously you have to be playing FP medals. But it's a, if you're doing the FP medal strategy, it's a key card. Hecarim seems awesome for six mana. Well, six mana is a lot. It's good to remember. It's actually quite a bit. And you can't use spell mana, obviously, because it's not a... It's not a spell.